everyone, it's Kelly from Kelly's Bead Boutique. So I wear the pair of earrings that I've got on. You can't really see them, but I call them my intermix earrings. I wear them a lot. I get lots of compliments. So today I'm going to show you how to make them. So come and join me. Okay, so today I'm going to be using about 10 inches of 1.5 millimeter leather. I also have two of the four ring intermix pieces from Tierra Cast, and I also have two of their single ring pieces. I have four little crimp covers and a pair of earrings, a couple of these large oval jump rings, and of course my barrel uh, knot tubing that I'm going to use as a tool. And today as far as tools, we're only going to be using a pair of chain nose pliers and a pair of scissors. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is even up my ends of my leather, and I'm just gonna simply cut it in half with a pair of scissors. Now I'm gonna take one of the pieces, and I'm gonna pop it through one of the little circles on here. And I find the best one to do is, like you can see there's four distinct little circles. One is sort of a bit of a square, and that one I'm gonna put at the top. So I like to use this one here. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my leather and I'm gonna put it through the end there and I'm going to leave one end a little bit longer than the other to make it easier for wrapping. And I'm gonna place that long piece up at the top. So now I'm gonna take my tube and I'm gonna place it between the leather and I'm gonna wrap around once and twice. And then I'm gonna take that little piece at the end there. I'm gonna move my tube down. We got these new tubes in and they're a little bit bigger. So it's harder on these small pieces of leather, but you can still do it. So now you can see that I've pushed that leather through there. I'm gonna pull the tube right through and it just pops out the end there. And that just makes it a little bit easier to make these sort of little barrel knots um, and you can have a little bit more consistency with them. So now I'm just going to move that knot up and get it firmly in place. So you just kinda of have to push and pull until you like where it is. And the short one is the one that I was working with so that's the one that's gonna tighten it all up. So once I like where it is, I just push and pull until I get it where I want it. So there we go. So I'm just gonna repeat on the other one. And I'm gonna do a mirror image of the other one. So I've got this one, you can see the little um, square is kind of pointing that way. So when I do the other side, I'm gonna have it that way. So I'm gonna do the other piece and then I will come back and show you how to complete the earrings. Okay, so now I've got both of my pieces with the leather attached. And so now I'm gonna attach my little single pieces that I have here. So they're just a the little tiny single um, intermix pieces. So you can kind of decide which way that you want them. I'm going to flip it so that this little point is going at the top just so that I can keep them, you know, sort of a mirrored image. And then I'm going to put this one the opposite way. So if you don't like, I mean, they have different textures on them. If you don't like that, you can just turn them whichever way you like. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so now I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and oops I do need a pair of these uh, bent chain nose now you will find that these are really super handy when it comes to opening and closing jump rings so I'm this is an oval one and it's nice and large which will accommodate all those pieces in there so you're just going to have the cut at the top you're going to come on either side and give it a nice little bend pop that through the little top piece and add our little single one and now I'm going to turn these over and get in there and close it up nice and tight. You wanna jiggle back and forth until it kinda of clicks right in there. And I'm gonna repeat on the other side. Now I'm gonna pop the ear wires on. And these are these fabulous TerraCast ear wires. Love them. Do that up. All right, so we're almost done. So now what I like to do is um, trim them off a little bit and then I'm going to embellish with these little um, crimp covers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to decide which, what I wanna do here. So on one side, I'm gonna leave it a little bit longer. Now, if you want, you can make these super long or if you want, you can have them a little bit shorter. I tend to wear them a little bit sort of mid-range because there is a lot of hardware up here and I don't really like things sort of being on my shoulders. So I'm gonna cut this one about I guess about here and this one I'm just going to make just a little tiny bit shorter about there so you can see how I've got kind of a nice little thing happening here so now what I want to do is I want to turn this over 
so that I end up with a mirrored image on the other side and I just line them up and I trim accordingly. So on the outside one, I'm gonna match that up as best I can. Now, you know, earrings, the good thing about them is that your ears aren't in the middle of your face. So if something happens to be just out a little tiny bit, it doesn't really matter. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of my little uh, crimp covers and I'm going to embellish the ends of the leather with them. So what I do is I line that up and try to get that in there as full as I can, but I don't want any poking out the end there. And sometimes you have to manipulate it around a little bit. So how I close these, and hopefully you can see with my fingers in the way, but I kind of have to guide this with my fingers, is I come in on either side and give it a squish, but I'm not squishing super hard. So now you can see that there is still a little bit of a gap there. And I want that gap because if I try to just squish this in one fell swoop, it's going to uh, completely cr uh, crush this and we're gonna end up with a square versus uh, a nice little round ball. So now I'm gonna take my pliers and I'm gonna come on the top of one side of it and just gently push down. And then I come on the other side and gently push down. And I do that a few times until I have a perfect little ball on the end. So that's how you close a crimp cover. A lot of people struggle with that and it takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of patience. So we're gonna get that in there. Now you have to make sure that they're lined up um, straight and they tend to wanna to sort of turn on you so you sort of have to boss it around a little bit. So that's why I brace it on my finger like that. So now I'm gonna come in and give it a good squeeze. Now that one almost closed up, which is okay. Sometimes they will, which is perfect. But now I'm still gonna come on either side and I'm giving it gentle little pushes. And there we go. Look how cute that is when you embellish like that. So now I'm gonna just finish up the last one here and I'm gonna show you the completed pair. All right, so there's our completed pair of Intermix earrings. They are one of my favorite to wear. They're super cute and comfortable and they kind of go with everything. I get lots of compliments when I wear them. So we have these available in kit form on our website and I will link that down below. Uh, make sure if you enjoyed this video that you give it a like, give me a thumbs up, make a comment. I love to hear from everybody. I get lots of questions and all kinds of cute comments. So make sure to uh, say hi to me. And um, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. And thanks so much for watching.